Hey everyone, and welcome back to Pokemon White. Alright, in the last episode, we got our second team member, Muna, and in this episode, we are going to be heading over here because uh, last time or before we couldn't go here because we didn't have a gym badge. And alright, I gotta put uh, Muna up in front, also called Yume now. Let's switch him up there, then Holi have Olivia up in second. And that looks good, and something I should correct myself. Uh, a few episodes ago I said that you could could only use TM once, which apparently you can't in this game. You can use them like HMs. So there's like no difference between TMs and HMs anymore in this game. And any and here we have the daycare center actually. Where it come it comes pretty early in this game. I'm saying it's the little play with Pokemon. Well, don't do that the wrong way. But here's the daycare center we can breed your Pokemon. So you can have like eggs, so they can grow a few level. Every time you take a step, uh, your Pokemon gains one experience. So, one experience point. So, just keep that in mind. It's very popular to take it. You'll be pestering battling. Okay. Let's see. Oh, we have a few kids here. Okay, so this girl over here heals up your Pokemon. So, thank you. Thank you very much. Even though I have my Pokemon were full heal. But whatever, let's go over here and we are going to have ourselves a little battle. I feel invincible because I'm surrounded by small cell children and Pokemon. And you feel invincible because... Because the power of love! Basically. And she's going to have a little pop, which hopefully Yume can take care of. Now I know that Yume learns uh, Side Beam at level 11, so... Hopefully he can grow he can grow a level uh, against some of these uh, Pokemon that he's going to be battling right now. And I still don't remember what the side beam, how much damage it does whenever it does. It does uh, like a little bit under half, so two more shoot That is way more damage than I hope. Jeez, a fight. Jeez. Now I gotta switch out to uh, Let's go to the little pup as a dead father. So go go little pup. Come on now, do the job for me. I don't wanna switch in Olivia and take damage even though Come on! Why did you need to use Odor Sleuth? I'm just gonna go for a layer because it's going to be a two-hit kill with this tech okay a one kill, nice! Thank you, little pup, you took out my little pup with a critical hit. So let's just go into Olivia and take out this uh Lilip up with a water gun, so let's go! Kill that thing! Good job, Olivia! And you and they are not going to get that much, much experience, but Archon's a Lum uh, a Muna, not a Luma. So let's go let's go ahead and go into Yume just so I can get the, those extra experience points that Yume need. So he can grow to level 11 and get a better psychic type move. Now I noticed like you can get a Moonstone pretty early in this game actually, but don't think I'm going to evolve Yume right when I get the Moonstone. Think I'm going to wait a few levels until he gets a few better moves. Oh, that is going to be annoying. But hopefully Olivia can be able to uh, do some nice damage. It's not even a two-week KO. What the heck? And Olivia is asleep, unfortunately enough. And because, uh, actually, in this game, sleep turns reset after you switch out. So it's really annoying. You can't just waste a turn of sleep and then switch out. You, it, it is going to be reset like Toxic is. So that is, like, pretty annoying, I must say. That is really not... A, a, what am I even trying to say? I don't really like... That. But whatever, I don't play competitively anymore, so it's not a big deal on me, for me. Wow, great, 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 you're very strong or something. And because Yume got really hurt, let's go ahead and heal. And because she's such a nice woman, she can heal up our Pokemon. It's, all, it's almost gone five minutes and we haven't, we have only had one battle at this point. And we have a preschooler, which, uh, has a pan pour level 10 and since then uh, you man let's see how much a say say wave does actually oh it has a lick ah uh, shouldn't do too much because lick is oh come on are you serious 
Oh yeah, synchronous, synchronized thing, nice. It's like Yume is like the Clefairy of this generation. It always gets critted, it always gets hacked to death. Jeez. See, Lick does like nothing because it's a very weak move. But you may get paralyzed, unfortunately enough, and it's going to leer me for whatever reason. Hopefully, you may can it avoided the attack. Ah, I'm not checking out the side wave actually. The target is attacked with an all psychic wave. The attack varies in intensity. I think it's just random or something. I don't know. But let's just continue to stay in, and hopefully, I can be able to take it. Some more attacks from this power. Oh come on! Are you serious? It's just not fair. It's gonna lick me for a whole 10 damage. Let's go for another side wave. I know you may can't can't take another attack from Pampor. So let's go into Olivia so I can just get rid of this Pampor and hopefully you may can grow a level. So let's go 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 Olivia! And he's going to go for the scratch scratch. I don't know if I would have to actually been able to live a scratch from this pamper, but whatever. Let's just take it out. And Olivia almost grew a level. Oh, Yuma grew a level. Olivia almost grew a level. Side beam, yeah, there we go. It's not like I'm going to be needing defense curl. I think side beam is at 65 base power move, so it's pretty nice. Oops, I have no healthy Pokemon left to fight. So let's just go ahead and heal once again. And there we go, and since uh, Yume has uh, Saibin now, hopefully he can do uh, a lot more things to other Pokemon. Here we another preschool is something that I don't get, or maybe a lot of people don't get, is that uh, in the Pokemon anime, uh, you have to be like 10 in order to get the first Pokemon, but apparently not in the Pokemon world, but this is a far away country, I guess, from the other regions. So, let's go for the side beam and see how much it does. Ooh, it does a nice amount of damage. Good job, Yume. Good job. You really needed that boost up with side beam. Let's go for another side beam. Uh, maybe, like, uh, the anime come up with its own rules and the games came up with their own rules. I think they've never said in the games, actually, that you need to be 10 in order to get your first Pokemon. Remember, all these youngsters and whatnot, other... People had like uh, they were under 10 and they still had Pokemon so I don't know what makes up the rules in the world of Pokemon it shouldn't be any rules actually May maybe I don't know I don't live in a Pokemon world so I don't know so this preschool is going to have a Pansage Pansage I don't even know how it's pronounced but he said before the battle Hyper Beam so pr maybe his Pansage is going to use Hyper Beam probably not Good job, Yume. You're doing great, actually. And it's going to leer me once again. So, let's go, 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 side beam. And that is going to take out that Pansage. And Yume grew to level 12. Nice, nice, nice. You're growing, Yume. You're growing. And I don't even know what he said. Maybe he was shouting after his mommy. And here, I think... Yeah, we can slide down. Yeah, or we can run up as just run down. I don't know. But let's go over here and it seems we have our first double battle in the game here. We're going to keep on our strength and do our best, so please watch. Hmm? One plus one is two, right? Yes, it's... Yes, it is. If I remember my math correctly, they're going to have a purloin and a purloin. And Yume can't do anything against purloin because he has only psychic type moves, so... Let's just go for the yawn on one of these her ones. And go for the war gun. See, it should be solid to it here on these her ones. Yes, it is. And it's going to scratch you, man, for a whole, like, three damage or however much it did. But whatever. It's going to, uh, like, lower my attack for some reason. So, my Yuma is going to be like... <laughs> Oh, I'm feeling tired right now, so... Yeah. And because he feels tired, he's going to be able to... Why did I use Warrior Gun on that Perloin? Am I stupid or something? Of course I am. Why am I even trying to say anything else? And it's going to use Assist. 
and get a sand attack! Hooray! How fun is this? Just using sand attacking grouse and whatnot. Oh, come on! Oh, why did. Am I being an idiot or am I being an idiot? Why did I use high beam in the first place? Should I just use yawn? Oh, why am I being such an idiot? Well, let's just go for the war again and take out that purloin. Now it's only one purloin left. And Olivia grew to level 16 and she actually evolves at level 17, so only one more level to go. And that purloin is going to wow me again. Like it's always doing. Let's just yawn that thing. And then go for a lucky shot because I feel lucky. And then for the war gun, so I'm going to be able to take out that purloin. So don't go with the useless recollect, of course. Of course! Kumi and I'm come on, Pokemon, go, 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 go! Go, 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 go! But let's go ahead and heal up real quickly. Because there's actually something coming up, and Yume was kind of low at health, on health. So let's just go here, and what do we have here? A sign saying, train to... Uh-huh. Duh, I didn't know that. And here's Charon again. Give it stop with the fuck. Oh, he got a gym badge now, so... Apparently, he wanna have a battle. So, let's just go ahead and give him the battle, shall we? And Sharon is going to be linear with a Snivy. And fortunately I put the Yuma up in front, so... I don't think Yuma is going to have too much trouble with this Snivy. I could have just used Yon, just I could put it to sleep. Uh, but I don't think it's going to be that much of a problem. I mean, it's just going to leer me, and... Snivy is a solid 2-3 hit kill. Oh, it's just a good move. Indeed, it's just a very good move. And it's going to wind with me and see how much it does. It does like a tw 12, not too much, I'm not too worried at all. And of course it's going to have an Oran Berry like he has on... Like his Snivy, he always puts like an Oran Berry on his Pokemon. This could be in trouble because growth actually raises attack and special attack in this game. Just like work up. So I don't know. It's the same move, basically the same move but with different names. A different type typing. Well, it didn't expect that one that it would be able to take me out. Seeing how much the first one did. Uh, yeah, I thought that would be a, was a critical hit, but apparently it wasn't a critical hit. So I just wanted to go into pants here just to be on the safe side so I can just go for the incinerate and take out Snivy. And then I can bring in Olivia against his second Pokemon, which is going to be a Perloin! Didn't expect that one, it's not like he had a Perloin as his uh, second Pokemon in our last battle. Let's just bring in Olivia, because that's because I'm not using Panseria as I said before. Just going to go for the War Gun, and I've actually looked at a few Pokemon I'm going to use on my team, so... Yeah, just... I'm just saying that. Oh, come on! Critical hit! And he's going to hit five times. Of course he's going to! My lord, I can bring out the strength of my Pokémon! No, you cannot! You cannot bring out your strength on your Pokémon because I need to keep your ass! Maybe your strength of losing. Or strength of fail! Why do you keep beating me? I see a number of gym bags do it. No, we shouldn't! I mean, I'm better than you. I, c I could have won Gym Bash, but I could have a level 100 Pokemon. That doesn't make sense. What you just said. Oh, there's Team Plasma run running up for. I don't know what reason. Yeah, go, where are you running? She's like kind of jogging. Compared to the Team Plasma. Seriously, they're on so fast. <laughs> oh, my Pokemon. Apparently, Team Plasma stole that little girl's Pokemon, so. I guess we have to go to them and get it back. But first, let's get this let get this item over here. We have a wild encounter, and it's a Pido, one of the new Pokemon that you can find in this route. You can actually find a Blitzel, a pretty good electric type Pokemon. But I'm not looking for it. I'm not going to catch it. And I'm going to end off the episode right here because we're long, running low on time. So I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time.
Peace out.